What is going on everyone? Got a new video today. Today's all about burgers. It happens to be my favorite type of food. So come with me as I scout out 702. Outside of Cali Bombs. This place is a cheeseburger shop located right here in Lake Mead and Civic Center. Not too far from the, from the freeway if you are coming from the strip or from another area. This place has great burgers, onion bombs are what they're definitely well known for, and other, other typical type of finger foods you might want to uh, try out such as chicken fingers and chicken wings. So enough talking, let's turn this thing around and get into it. Cali Mex. This thing comes with two burger patties, two slices of cheese, pickles, tomato, lettuce, grilled onions, guacamole, and a spicy Cali spread. Check this bad boy out. Looks fire for sure. Let's dig in. Enough talking. Oh man, this thing, this thing never fails. I've had this one before from here. This thing is absolute fire, man. It's, a, it's a, a solid cheeseburger. Nothing too crazy, nothing too extra with the fancy uh, toppings or anything. Just a nicely done cheeseburger for sure. This thing has double patties, some guac sauce in it, some spiciness. Bun perfectly, nice and uh, nice crisp to this thing. This thing's dripping all over my car right now. I don't care though, it's too good. So this monster right here is the street bomb. This is a fresh pressed onion with mayo. The sin has been filled with nacho cheese and is topped with flaming hot Cheetos and pork rinds and is garnished with a little bit of cotilla cheese and shredded cheese too. All right, so the next item I'm trying out over here at Kelly Bombs is their street bomb. Let's see how well you can pick that up. This thing looks freaking fire for sure. Now this thing is a freshly, uh, fresh onion put in the grill deep fried. You got East Side Edition. For me, that's when you put anything hot Cheeto on your food. This thing has tons of toppings on the inside. You got sour cream, mayo, cheese, nacho cheese. I mean, full of everything you want. Let's try this bad boy out. Mm. Man, this thing is great. Um, for an extra kick, I added an extra spicy sauce to it. You can get either original or spicy way, and of course I like spicy. So let's try this thing out again, man. This thing is uh, great. Let me make sure I get everything in this. And that Cheeto, onion, cheese, actually everything. Before I started coming here, I never was a fan of the onion bombs you find at you know, your regular restaurants because they're too boring. With all these extra toppings you can get to it, this thing spices it up for sure, literally. Um, I get the street one, like I said. They got a couple other ones you could choose from. This one's definitely a good uh, choice to go with any burger for sure. I definitely highly recommend this place for sure. Let's roll on to the next spot. All right, everyone, we're at the second location today. We're outside of Barcode Burgers. This is looking for a good cheeseburger. They got a couple other good things in there today. It is located right here in Flamingo, not too far from UNLV, not too far from the strip also. So let's turn this thing around and go inside and check them out. All right, for a sampler we got here, PB and J wings. These things are supposed to be real good. It's one of the local favorites here. So let's dig in and try them out. Alright, so I got the PB and J wing here. Things glowing and glistening real nicely. And I don't know what to think about the PB and J combo. Let's try it out. You know what? This thing's really good. It tastes just like it. Thank you very much. Real good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Alright, so something about these wings right here, it's not overwhelming in peanut butter or jelly because I don't know how that would actually taste on a fried wing, but the subtleness of it, 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 it works pretty good, so, you know, try these out. 
All right, so I got my pops here with me. He's the one who actually told me about this place. The main course just came out, and these things are looking so fire right here. So my dad ended up getting the green chili burger. The side of onion rings, some spicy sriracha wraps. And then I ended up getting the popular choice of the hangover burger. This thing looks absolutely great too. Look at the glycerin off that bun. Basic fries. I'm feeling basic There's right now. a little bit of confusion because I initially had ordered the hangover burger, but instead they sent out the barcode burger. It was cool with me because I, I didn't mind. I was hungry, so I just decided to go with this one. So this one has beer onion jam, bacon aioli, pickled onions, pickled bell pepper, blue cheese butter, and arugula in it. Here we go. Wow, this thing is packed with flavor. Mm. This thing is so good. All the combination of the flavors are coming together so much together. I could barely distinguish all of them, all of them singly. Taste the heavy presence of cheese in there. The burgers cooked nice and medium. Um, the patty. This thing is freaking juicy, man. This thing is a definite win right here for sure. They got a ton of choices on this menu here. I could only try one right now because I'm not that hungry. But as far as the one I'm trying, this thing is fire. Something to take note on, if you're going a more health conscious route, they do have a few choice items here for you as well. Also, they do have a pretty big open bar here. Good draft beers, good liquor if you're trying to take a shot, get lit. It's up to you though. So let's roll on to the next spot. stop for today I am at Black Taps located here inside of the Venetian Casino right here on the strip not too far for you to get to if you are on the strip somewhere or not too far even if you're in another part of the city they have all types of crazy shakes crazy burgers real good burgers at that so let's flip this thing around and head inside So I went with the Wagyu Steakhouse Burger. This thing has Wagyu beef, pepper jack cheese, bacon, crispy onions, A1 sauce, and roasted garlic mayo. I'm drooling right now. Check this bad boy out. This thing is so freaking juicy, heavy, stacked with meat, man. This thing is absolute fire. Let's try this thing out already. This thing is absolutely great. This Wagyu beef on here, nice and juicy, cooked nicely. The crunch of that bacon on this thing, the onion ring strength on it, this thing comes together perfectly. This thing is so fire right here. So right here, this is the cake shake. It is a cake battered shake. It has a vanilla frosted rim with rainbow sprinkles on top with a funfetti cake slice, whipped cream, rainbow sprinkles, and a cherry on top. And just so you happen to know, this is only sold in limited quantities every day. So make sure you get here early for this bad boy. Man, this thing might have a sugar overload with this thing. Let's try it out. Yeah, this thing's good. It's, um, you know, you got that um, cake batter, confetti type style cake. It's nice and sweet. If you're all looking to get some diabetes, this is definitely the one you want to go with. Now, let's try the actual shake itself. If I can get to it through all this cake right here. This milkshake is definitely way too thick to drink. So I had to take the cake up, get the straw. I got to use a spoon like I'm eating ice cream. Nice sweet vanilla you know, ice cream is really good. Nice presentation with the sprinkles on there. Overall, this is a good solid shake. Nice moist cake right here, real sweet. There's a cherry on top. 
<laughs> just leaving. Like I said, that place has some great food in there. Great burgers. Burgers and the shakes, I would say, is what the most popular items are. More so the shakes. The shakes are just real unique. Crazy type of toppings. You know, putting whole pieces of cakes on there. Ice cream sandwiches, cookies. All types of crazy sweets on the top of them. Uh, the shake itself is really good, but I would definitely say it's more of a, an ice cream you're eating in the beginning until that ice cream starts to melt and you're able to actually drink it out of the straw. But I would definitely recommend this place if you are in town, not just on the strip, anywhere in the city. This place is worth uh, the drive for sure. All right, so that's going to wrap this one up today. These three burger spots I went to today are all worth a visit, I would definitely say. Black Taps, nice and juicy with that meat. Cali bombs, simple ingredients, but great quality overall. Definitely worth worth a visit, especially those onion bombs. Forget about it, those things are great. And of course, barcode burgers, man. You want a good beer, some liquor, any type of drinks, and good food at the same time, watch your favorite sports game, you definitely want to be there for sure. Um, that's gonna wrap the location for today. Got, I'm definitely probably gonna be doing a part two to this one. I got a lot more spots I wanna show you guys out there. Also, if you guys do like this content, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching though, guys. I'm out of here.